this is the fifth time we are doing this. A unique quarterly event where immunization professionals can come and network with professionals from all over the world. Here we go, count with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. All right, we're kicking off Teach to Reach. Five today. This is a connect event to meet, network, and learn. First, I want to check in with Charlotte. Charlotte and Boo will be my co-host, co-MC for the day, uh, for the afternoon. Oh, and we have the honor of actually seeing her on video. So let me pull that up right away. Uh, we have, all right, here. Where is Charlotte? There she is. All right, let's have some more applause for Charlotte. Uh, those of you who don't know her, you're going to hear her. Uh, she's part amongst many other things of the collective of women who deliver vaccines and I see Charlotte you're displaying it proudly uh, today now let's yes. get uh, let's dive in you should be by now we hope you are by now in the um, Teach to Reach Connect space Charlotte how are you doing are you in the uh, hopin.com uh, space right now uh, yes brother I am there but I am not there because uh, I haven't turned on the stage I want to focus on Zoom I don't want any All interference right. Uh, because of connectivity, but I'm really excited, as you can see, uh, 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 for this particular Teach to Reach Connect 5, and I just want to say a special welcome to those of you who are joining us for the very first time. Welcome to the Scholar family, welcome to the Teach to Reach community. I'm sure you're going to have a very exciting day. Thank you, Reda, over. Wonderful. Thank you, uh, Charlotte. Now, where we want you to be is here. In the hopin.com platform, I'll show you why. This is where everything happens, especially the networking. So let me go to the stage right now. And this is where you can, you should be watching this live stream. We have some people here, uh, some messages here. Let's see what's happening here. Ibrahim Abdullahi Maikano Chika Ofor is with us. Uh, uh, Ibrahim Abdullahi Maikano and Solange Wigan says, Oura Charlotte. <laughs> I think that's French. <laughs> Ukeme, Feoma, I can't send a message. We just received your message, Ukeme, so let me uh, reassure you. And then we also have uh, online, we have uh, watching through social media. So we have uh, Dr. Uh, let, let me see if I can bring him up on screen. Dr. Taimur Kayani from uh, Gilgit Team Pakistan, he says. So let's have uh, Jim Tola, Jim Tebaye, um, who says, Bonjour, cher tous. Let me actually bring up his, uh, his message. There are a few Francophones. The Francophones had their event in the morning. We saw some confused uh, Anglophones are saying, why is everything in French? So this is your turn. Um, our Ruth Olote from Accra, Ghana. Always a pleasure. Uh, Bayan Morris Koikoi, uh, watching from Monrovia, Liberia. Um, I'm not sure. Yes, I hope you've made it. Samuel Ajansan from Bauchi. Uh, Balaganesa Kumar from India. And then Emanuela Chinonye Odunze. We'll stop here for now. But um, this is only the beginning. The reason we're excited and the reason we're doing uh, the uh, uh, this uh, special opening ceremony is right here. It is because we've launched the uh, Movement for Immunization Agenda 2030. And on the 7th of March, that is this coming Monday, uh, we are, let me just, yes, uh, uh, so you can see here, uh, the, on the 7th of March, we'll be having the launch event for that. So today is Friday, and on Monday, we'll be going to the launch event. Now, with respect to this, Teach to Reach, this is the number of people who registered for Teach to Reach Connect 4. And we had already 6,163 people who had registered, uh, requested the invitation. We know, unfortunately, the number of people who are actually able to attend is a lot less because of connectivity issues. But you are still part of the family, even if you're having to watch the recording or if you're not able to participate at all. But <laughs> the incredible news is that not only did most people return, but we have almost more than 2,000 uh, new people who have also joined uh, Teach to Reach Connect Five, we hope that each of you will have connectivity with you, that you will be able to uh, uh, to connect uh, today. And at the let's say the top <laughs> at the top of Teach Reach Connect, of course, is the launch for the movement for IA 2030 for Immunization Agenda 2030. But I would say there is something very special happening today, and that is the Women Who Deliver Vaccines uh, event. And Charlotte, what is uh, going to happen in this event? Why is it titled, Who Are the Women Who Deliver Vaccines? 
Yeah, Red Eye, it's a collective of 143 women from 38 countries that uh, work in immunization uh, from the health facility to the global level who came together to say it was time to celebrate and honor those women who are the front line on a daily basis and ensuring that our population get the vaccines that they need. Thank you, Charlotte. All right. And we have a special guest. He's going to be our guide on the side. And so Sharaf Jeevan is a global expert on the question of motivation. And in, in preparing this teach to reach, we realized that there was something very important we had never actually discussed openly. And that is, how do you, what makes you get up every day to continue the work of vaccination? This question is even more important during the COVID-19 pandemic. So our friend uh, Sharaf will be here. Um, he is an expert. And he will be here, in fact, to listen to your stories of motivation. What keeps you going to keep vaccination going? Uh, he'll be our guide on the side rather than the sage on the stage. Uh, and we'll be, he'll be sharing his feedback, his insights grounded in his expertise. Now, where you want to be, as I said, is in the Hopin platform. That's where you'll be able to enjoy the benefits of the full experience of Teach to Reach. But if you're here, if you made it to the Zoom and you can't get to hop in, believe me, there will be some very nice, uh, very nice plenaries. Uh, you'll get the chance to speak, to share your experience, even if you are not able to uh, to do the, uh, the networking. So in a word, Teach to Reach is a quarterly event for immunization and primary health professionals to meet, network, and learn from fellow health workers from all over the world. So this is very different from webinars that probably most of you have attended where you sit and you listen to experts present and maybe you ask a few questions at the end. So a uh, very different concept. And actually, we know that participants of Teach to Reach got it right away. Uh, this is a wonderful quote. Charlotte, could you share it with us? Oh. Yes, Reda, with uh, great pleasure. Peer learning is the key to success and networking is the key to peer learning. And so in Teach to Reach Connect, we have two tracks. First of all, three networking sessions and then plenaries and concurrent sessions. So if you're in the Zoom studio with us, you'll be able to join all of the plenaries. But where we want you to be is to go to hop in. You can see there's almost 200 people connected already. Many, uh, many participants have just go straight for the networking. So to go to the networking, you click on the networking tab. And if that's all you want to do, that's the main reason you're here, that is fine. But we also have some very exciting sessions uh, here. To do the networking, you click on join. Make sure you authorize your at least your microphone. Um, you can run a pre-event check and then hit... Uh, hit uh, connecting and you're going to be connected to someone else. I'm not going to do that now. If you want to see the full schedule, you go to the reception. That's what you'll find uh, there. Now, um, today we want to share a little bit about uh, the Movement for Immunization Agenda 2030. So what do we mean by movement, first of all? It comes from the 74th World Health Assembly, and it is the Director General of the World Health Organization who calls for a broad social movement for immunization that will ensure immunization remains high on global and regional health agendas. Now, a movement is larger than any one individual or organization, and the Geneva Learning Foundation is one of many working to support this movement. That's why we are inviting you to join. We invited you. We sent out the invitation less than two weeks ago. And already we have over 5,749 people from 110 countries who have joined this movement, have shared a lot of their experience on a range of topics. We're going to come back to that. But first of all, please, if you are alone in front of your computer screen, put your hands together because this is... A lot of immunization professionals going above and beyond to achieve the immunization goals of their country and of every country. So, want to greet um, Wailing Ong from Myanmar. It's nice to meet you. Uh, tell us where in Myanmar. Tell us what you do, Wailing. Tell us uh, if you have joined the movement for immunization agenda 2030. Uh, Mariati Ramat, connecting from South Sulawesi, Indonesia. Thanks. Uh, tell us also, are you uh, joining this movement? Have you joined? Have you, are you ready for the activities that will be starting on the 7th of March? Uh, Deepak Kumar Patro, uh, tell us the same joining from India. And then Ahmed Sangha from Kaduna State, Nigeria. Are you in or out uh, of the uh, movement for immunization? Um, when we ask you why, 
what the point was of joining such a movement. You can see answers from Anglophones and Francophones. You not, may not be able to read this, but the very top answer, the one that actually has more than twice the next one, is to share my experience and to learn from the experience of others. Just an amazing uh, commitment to a kind of learning that happens every day. We learn every day from each other, but this is a, an attempt to do it on a large scale and to cross boundaries such as people from different system levels, people from different countries. Now your commitment, this is what we believe, can make a difference for children and their families in your country. That is the first point. And there's a very important point about why you matter as an immunization professional. You are the key to leading the change needed to realize uh, the strategy that's been adopted by every country in the world. Here we have this quote from Godwin Mindra. Charlotte. Those of you who have direct contact with the communities, you are the ones who can reach the unreached. And then we have a Dr. Kate O'Brien, from who's the Director of Immunization at the World Health Organization. And this is what she says. We need people to feel like they have the authority and are empowered to lead change in their community, in their program at the most local level. Understanding what the goal is and what the targets are. Taking those critical things that really cannot be compromised and adapting all around that. And Kate O'Brien is talking about you, whatever level of the system you work at, if you work for immunization in your country. Now, in response to these calls from global leaders, from the World Health Organization, what we've done at the Geneva Learning Foundation is developed what we call a full learning cycle. And that is our intended to be our contribution to the uh, Movement for Immunization Agenda 2030. Uh, the premise for this full learning cycle is very simple. Um, and I'd like to ask you, to look at these challenges. Do you face any of these challenges? Do you have in the community you serve uh, children who are unvaccinated and missed communities? And I'd like you to go through the chat. So whether you are on LinkedIn, Facebook, um, uh, YouTube, wherever you are listening to this or in Hopin um, and type yes, if you are in fact uh, facing this challenge as I read off the challenges. So I... All right, Charlotte has already put a yes. Uh, so if you are facing the challenge of how to reach children who are currently not vaccinated, uh, type yes into the chat and we'll be sharing those, those answers. Um, if you're facing epidemic outbreaks of measles, yellow fever, other diseases, if you are facing a community that lacks confidence in vaccines, if... Uh, uh, you are working with a marginalized community that is hard to reach for you and others trying to um, to reach them with immunization. If you're facing gender barriers, realize that boys, girls, men and women are not accessing services in the same way. Type yes. And then think about, with respect to these challenges, which of these one is the, the one that keeps you awake at night? Which is the one that is the most difficult that you haven't been able to solve by yourself? And what we'll be offering through the full learning cycle is the opportunity to work on these challenges through a series of peer learning exercises and field-based practice. But this is very different from a course where you come to learn something. Here you come to problem solve the challenges that you are facing. And when it came time to looking at what these challenges are, um, we have adults and children missing their vaccinations. It's at the top of the list, followed by reaching zero dose children, COVID-19 vaccination, disruptions to routine immunization and measles outbreaks. So I see a lot of yeses in the room. That is why we need a movement. That is why we need to work together across borders, across system levels to support each other. And that is what we'll be doing in the, in the coming weeks, starting on the 7th of March. And you can see the full schedule here. So we'll be kicking off on Monday with a global assembly. This is the one event you don't want to miss, to miss, even if you're not going to be able to follow and do everything. There are many ways in which you'll be able to take a pause. We, you can still stay, remain a member of the movement as long as you keep that commitment to achieving your country's immunization goals. Uh, and we have one testimonial here challenge shared by your participants. We ask you when you join the movement to share your challenges. Uh, Charlotte. 
I hope help me reach out to IDPs as internally displaced persons in urban areas. I hope to reach out to the missing rural population who find refuge in nearby urban areas but cannot afford medical services. This population can be reached out by mobile staff if identified or through fixed primary health service centers created for them. Participating in this movement will be a platform to learn from others so as to develop strategies to go about mitigating this challenge. Thank you very much. So Charlotte was not the first, but one of the first um, who, I, who said to me, if you want to walk far, walk together. And here's what will be an outline of what we'll be do doing together. So each of you has a challenge. And we're betting that some of you have solved the challenge of someone else, have ideas and practices that will be useful to others. Just that person who has a solution to your challenge or a piece of a solution, or, or an idea, or a practice, maybe in a different country, maybe working in a different part of the country that you never go to, that you would never otherwise never meet. And so this provides that opportunity to analyze the root causes of your challenge, plan the actions needed to tackle your challenge, implement, and then share experiences you go of what works and why. Now, one very important thing, we know how busy you are. And so everything, every activity, is there to take uh, you know, to help you take on your challenge and help others to do the same. There is no task that we will ask you to do for its own sake, or you know, they're, they're unlike a conventional course or a webinar, there's none of that. Everything else has been stripped away so that you can choose the activities and how much time you want to put in. And we want to make sure that every activity, everything you do, you do because it helps you in your daily work with your challenge. So that is uh, the operating principle for the full learning cycle that will be kicking off on uh, Monday. So now on Monday, we'll be joining together to launch the movement for immunization agenda 2030 to launch this first full learning cycle, which is our contribution to it. And Monday's launch, other important events, make sure they are on your calendar. Um, we know everyone is busy. There are some things we will signal you through the Telegram channels by email when something is important that you need to be there. If you're, And we ask you to be there, not out of some mandatory requirement, but because we believe if you miss it, you're going to be missing something that can help you in your work. Um, so that is the presentation of the movement. Uh, before we talk about networking, just to give you a sense of who is in the movement, uh, you can see here, this shows Anglophones on the left side, Francophones on the right side. Uh, and we have here, uh, first of all, Nigeria, Ghana, Pakistan, India, Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Somalia, Cameroon, and Gambia. So I'd like to, I think if there is something to be said for the countries that have recruited, mobilized already hundreds, dozens of immunization staff who have responded to the call to action to join this full learning cycle for the movement to contribute to immunization agenda 2030. We're also struck by the fact that many of you, more than 30% on the Anglophone side, work in health facilities, almost a quarter in districts. And that, again, on the Anglophone side, almost half of you work for your Ministry of Health, but almost 15% of you work for non-governmental organizations, for civil society organizations. And think about a sort of a happy mix of people connecting to each other in these ways. Charlotte? Yeah, um, uh, the best part of my job is serving and saving my people. The best part of, um, and the worst part is the emergence and re-emergence of communicable disease like COVID-19 with high health and economic impact. The motivation comes from personal interest and recovery of patients. My profession and nationality helps me feel involved in my work. Because COVID-19 is a newly emerged and a world, worldwide pandemic, it needs collaboration of all health professionals and global attention. So as a public, so as a public health professional, it makes me feel involved with others in my work. Factors like protection by immunization and patient recovery make me motivated. So this is a district level Ministry of Health officer from East Africa, a woman 
who is joining the Immunization Agenda 2030 movement. One of more than 5,000. We're near the 6,000 mark. And there are, you have now have, if you have not joined yet and would like to, you have 48 hours after at the end of Teach to Reach today, we'll be sharing the email with a link whereby you can actually apply to join the movement in the next 48 hours. Because on Monday, we'll be kicking off the activities and we'll be starting with what's called the Ideas Engine. So to give you a sense of what that is, you can see here there are the different strategic priorities of uh, Immunization Agenda 2030. And you'll be able to go into this platform. We'll share the links and how to connect. We'll share the instructions. And then you go in and you say, well, I have a, an issue with commitment and demand for vaccination. So you can go in and you can see the ideas and practices that have been shared by your colleagues. Or you can say, well, I have, uh, uh, you know, I have a, a lesson learned, a success story, a practice, an idea that can help improve equity, and I'd like to share it with others. So we'll be able to share ideas and practices, and that starts on Monday, uh, the, uh, the, the 7th of March. Now, as we go into the... Um, uh, I'm looking for the email that you should have received, but it seems to be uh, gone from my deck, so I won't be able to show you. To show you, each of you who has, once you are in the movement, you will receive a uh, uh, a very important email with the link to join the General Assembly on Monday, the seventh of March. That is the one you do not want to miss. Now, uh, I'd like to speak now uh, in the five minutes that remain before we close this session and get ready to open the uh, plenary. A little bit about the networking session. So. Networking session one really asks a simple question. How have you overcome COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy? And what this means is think about a situation in which you actually managed to convince an individual or a group that was reluctant about COVID-19 vaccination and you figured out a way to do it and it worked and they are now protected from COVID-19. Um, so that is in a networking session. And what you'll be doing is going to networking here. And for the first session... Uh, starting in, in uh, nine minutes, um, and click on join, and then take it from there. You'll be connected to someone. It may not work the first time or the second time, but it will work, and you will be able to discuss this issue. You've all received a discussion guide that explains, um, that suggests some questions and some, uh, some, uh, some issues to explore uh, with your colleagues. Now, networking session two will be on why do women's voices matter in immunization. So this will follow the women who deliver vaccines plenary that is kicking off also in nine minutes in the networking session three, why, what keeps you going to keep immunization going during the pandemic? And that'll be right after the session, in fact, uh, focused on motivation. So that is uh, what we'll be doing in the uh, coming uh, uh, next few hours. Um, remember, you received a discussion guide that covers all three sessions. And now I actually want to go to the, um, uh, to the schedule to show you that you're going to have to make some decisions. So I click on reception and hop in and... Um, Right now, we're in the opening ceremony. Okay, and I just click on it and I can go there. It's happening on the stage. But um, right after this, you can see that there are several options. Networking one is, as I just said, how I overcame COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy. Um, so that's right there. But at the same time, 3 to 4 p.m. Geneva. The schedule will show your local time. So go and check the schedule. Don't rely. Don't think it's happening at 3 p.m. your time unless you are in Geneva. Uh, there's also the big event we've all been waiting for, the plenary session for women who deliver vaccines. This is celebration ahead of International Women's Day. And you'll see here for each time slot, each one hour time slot, you'll have to make a choice. Now you can jump back and forth. You can go network a little, come back and listen to the plenary. We trust you. It is up to you what you do and how uh, you are going to uh, uh, to do it. So now I want to, uh, there's been lots of activity uh, on, the, um, on the social media channels uh, as well as in the plenary. So let's go look at some of that. Um, now, um, Jemima Kwe says, is from Ghana, is glad to join. Uh, so welcome, uh, warm welcome to you. Benita, it just says, I can't connect. So uh, Benita, if you're able to watch the live stream uh, on Facebook, I'd suggest you stay there because we are going to be kicking off. You can give it one more try, but keep watching. You're, we're about to kick off the Women Who Deliver Vaccines plenary. Uh, Odu Olu Waye Misi Adediran is present. Thank you uh, for uh, letting us know. Let us know where you're from. Let us know what's on your mind with uh, Teach to Reach uh, uh, as you come in. Um, 
Jumoke Olu Fidipe from Lagos uh, says, nice to be here. Um, and so does Olu Watoba. Esther Ifeoluwa from Kaduna State. And then Riak uh, from South Sudan is joining as well. All right. So we have just about one minute uh, left. And so I'm going to tell you where to go now. Um, if you are in the Zoom studio with us, we're about, we're going to kick off the Women Who Deliver Vaccines plenary. So if you'd like to attend that, you don't have to go anywhere if you're in the Zoom studio. If you are watching on YouTube, Facebook, or another channel, uh, stay on our channel or our page, and you will see there's a new live stream that's going to come up. If you are in Hopin, you can go to the schedule. That's actually the easiest way to figure out where you want to go next and just choose. If you want to go to networking, you click on networking. If you want to go to the Women Who Deliver Vaccines event, uh, then that is where uh, you will go. So you can use the schedule. That's probably the easiest way to, uh, uh, to, 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 to do it. And then the reminder is, oh, and I just found the email. So this, if you are joining the IA2030 movement, uh, this is the email to look for. It's got the sort of yellow, green, and red buttons. Uh, that you click on all three to register, to add to your calendar, and then to make sure you have the right time. You don't want to miss Monday's global launch event. Uh, that's it for this opening ceremony. And uh, we're now going to close this uh, this live stream. If there are, if there's any anybody any uh, messages that um charlotte you'd like to highlight yes. we'd love to close yes, with brother, i i want to especially greet and welcome uh, binish she says uh, i am binish from pakistan currently joining from washington it's 5 50 a.m good morning so oh, all right, i just want to say one well, yeah all right let's uh, offer a round of applause for binish Early morning, we also know we have some uh, colleagues from Haiti who joined the uh, Francophone sessions uh, very early as well. And what we're getting ready for Teach to Reach today is really the warm-up for the IA2030 movement. So we invite you, we call on you, if you're an immunization professional, to uh, to join this movement for immunization. We'll be kicking off activities uh, on and Monday, 7th of March. Reda, Reda, talking about IA2030 movement, there was this question from Mirta Luisson. Uh, in the chat, I have a question. What can you share about people who leave their home because of the armed, armed gangs, as is the case in Haiti, where I am living and working? I'm just about to say that is the reason why we have uh, the IA2030 movement for Immunization Agenda 2030. Yes, well, well, maybe, yeah, uh, whatever your challenge is that is related to immunization, that, that prevents or hinders or is a barrier to protecting every child, every girl, every boy, every man, every woman from vaccine-preventable diseases. That is what we want to, uh, uh, to invite you to tackle through what will be kicking off on Monday, the full learning cycle. So thank you for these contributions. This is the only time we'll be, we've presented to you what we're going to do. It's important to make sure you have the information you need for to be ready for Monday's event. Going to close the live stream now. But stay on the stage. You'll see the live stream is going to change in a few minutes and you'll be able to join for, um, for the next uh, session. What I'm going to do now is um, invite you to unmute. Uh, so we can say, we can hear some of your voices and not just mine and Charlotte. <laughs> If you have one minute, if you turn off, turn on your webcam, you can do that. All right, see you soon for the women who deliver vaccines in the I am Jim. 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 I am Jim.